In today's video, we're talking about five winter fragrances that everybody must own. Three, two, one, let's do this. Monica Johan on this channel we talk about fragrances so if you're interested in that topic press that subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified of my latest videos and let's get on with today's video let me start with a fragrance that is truly special and I have been obsessed with it it has been in a couple of my videos and I just really 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 enjoy it it's Maison Francisca Cajan Amaris Homme and this is a, a men's fragrance but I do wear it cheeky me to me it's the perfect unique scent for the winter I haven't tested it in the spring or summer so I really wonder how it will perform but in the winter the longevity of this fragrance is spectacular it's like 12 hours plus the scent throw is very very large too and it has a unique scent profile to the profiles that I usually sw uh, that I usually smell around me during the winter time because this is somewhat fresh but still very warm and cozy for a guy this would be a killer I mean killer everyday scent that you'd be recognized for it like straight away it's like oh you're this person oh this person has entered the room I get like a coconutty feel uh, it's got milk chocolate in this too it's got amaris which I believe is the heart of iris so you get that like a powderiness but not really very intriguing scent I believe you've got the citrus the mandarin uh, at the top here. You've also got the rosemary and uh, loads of woody notes. So it is a perfectly balanced scent. So in the winter when it's so crisp, this is kind of a crisp fragrance too, although it's warm and cozy. I think it's the perfect, perfect winter scent that everybody should own. I mean, it's a killer. It's one of my top discoveries um, last year. It's just to die for. This is Amaris Homme Extrait de Parfum. While we're on the topic of winter and cozy time, I must say that I'm totally coffee obsessed. I do love coffee so much. I drink it every single day, at least twice a day, which I don't know if it's that good for me but oh well who else is a coffee addict give me that thumbs up and let me don't let me know down in the comments the next one is the fragrance that is coffee based and it is called coffee break from replica from Maison Margiela this I like how they put in where the scent memory is from and this is from Stockholm 2007 creamy and cozy coffee and this is a unisex scent again I have to Spray it. Oh, this spray is really good. Mm. This is a definition of a cozy scent to me. This is fuzzy and warm. It will make you feel like you're in a coffee shop inside warm looking out into the cold winter Stockholm street. That's what it smells like. And I really enjoy the fuzziness in this because this smells like instant coffee. It doesn't smell like black coffee, which I think Scandinavian people do drink their coffee black, but that is just a side note. So they should have made it a black coffee, but this is definitely a milky instant coffee sort of scent. So it's not a coffee a scent that you would think of if you read this necessarily. This is incredibly creamy and I believe this has got a lot of musk. So musk in a fragrance makes fragrances really cozy and almost like a cashmere blanket. This is what comes to mind when I smell musk. It's just a very fuzzy feeling. If you want a perfect winter scent, definitely check out this one another great one from this line is fireplace they are amazing cozy scents they just make me want to stay in the winter forever 
Next up, we've got a very special scent and that and this one will forever be in my fragrance collection. This is Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. This is the best Tom Ford private line in my opinion currently. It is hands down the best. It's a unisex scent once again and I do describe it as a gingerbread scent but the kind of gingerbread that you do find in Eastern, Eastern European countries, the thick um, moist gingerbread with some like syrup inside, that is what it smells like to me. So this has got vanilla also in it and of course tobacco, but it's not the disgusting tobacco. This is sort of tobacco scent that you don't associate with people who smoke, but you do associate with cozy leather lounge with men smoking uh, cigars and the leather coming from the huge sofa seats and the books in there. Um, that is the kind of tobacco note I'm talking about. It's a sweet tobacco note. And this is my perfect winter day scent. I do wear it to feel very cozy and when I smell it on a guy it's like oh my gosh you're so cozy like I want to hug you you're just so you're just so friendly and warm I don't know it, it just it just does something this is truly a scent that will make you happy in the winter if you're that miserable person that hates winter get yourself tobacco vanille from Tom Ford and nearly last but not least we've got Parfum de Mali Herod and I still don't have a bottle <laughs> from my review but I actually got myself a second sample so this means something you know I do really need to get myself a bottle but you know there's so many fragrances on my list to buy that it's almost like okay which one do I buy first because there's so many but this again is a tobacco fragrance and I do love tobacco um I do wear tobacco scents, uh, which is a bit unusual for a woman, I feel like, because it's associated a bit more with males and uh, men. <laughs> but this is just so good. I can't pass on uh, smelling this. And just now, I'm getting this weird kind of cherry sort of vibe from this fragrance. But this is a very peppery tobacco. This almost makes me want to sneeze when I first smell the opening of this. Oh, it's so good. It's slightly sweet also, but the tobacco in this, it's just so yummy. This is a staple, I think, in um, a men's collection. This should be a staple, especially in, in the winter fragrance wardrobe, because this is so essential, so masculine, but still inviting and warm. I just really, really love how this scent was put together. If you want to smell this good, that the girls will want to like hug you. If you're a woman if you want people to just hug you and want to be close to you definitely try this one out it's a male scent but women I believe can wear it and this it's just so good I actually wore it on my um for new year's so the winter started off well well it wasn't the start of winter but you know what I mean this equals winter Herod by Parfum de Manly lastly it's rehab from Initio. Oh, the spray is so good. First of all, the bottle is just to die for. I really, really love it. This is again a unisex scent. This has got the vibe at the opening of YSL La Nuit de L'Homme. And YSL La, du La Nuit de L'Homme is one of my favorite men's fragrances, especially for dates. And this smells like it because of the lavender note in this. This is a calming scent. Look at this calming bottle. It's, it's you know, it's very calming. The bergamot in the opening of this fragrance is so fresh, but then you've got the lavender, loads of woods, and the sandalwood in this is, oh my gosh, it smooths everything, makes it creamy, makes it so calming. Oh. And for the winter, 
this will make you happy every single day this calms me down if i've got an anxious morning a bit of a crazy i woke up late i'll put that on and i'll go to work on the train and i'll just relax because of the lavender in this the calming sandalwoods it will just make me ready for the day and um, it is just so so inviting warm and sexy this is a sexy sort of everyday scent that i would really recommend for guys again this um, is for a guy that loves fragrances doesn't want to smell the same as everybody else uh, and wants to be different and when you smell like this you will smell clean warm inviting and just like a well composed guy i got a compliment actually from wearing this last week and a girl who works with me she said oh you smell so clean and calm i was like actually this is the perfect way to actually describe the scent so while we're still in the winter time wear rehab and again i will test it again in the springtime and see how it performs but this in the winter is incredibly long lasting um, i just love the spiciness of this fragrance too it's calm but spicy definitely an intriguing sort of scent these were five of my top five fragrances you must own and wear in the winter let me know what yours are what are your picks i will read now the comment of the day i read your comments and i do pick out and shout out one of the, your comments in every single video if you subscribe and also um press the notification bell to my channel so today's comment is from robert quinlan and he does comment on nearly all of my videos so thank you so much robert i do see you he says the subjectivity in fragrance preferences is one of the best things about this hobby it often leads to insightful and fun conversations about people's varied taste very nicely put interesting to hear your thoughts on these thank you so much for leaving your comment and i do think the subjectivity of the sense of smell is just the best in this uh, community and it's so nice that you do guys are like the best audience ever because you do express your opinions in such a composed calm way even if you disagree you never like attack me you're just very um respectful and i love what we have here as a community that everybody can respect each other respect their different opinions so thank you guys for being so awesome remember if you love a scent just wear it no matter what the marketing tells you and i'll see you all again very very soon bye